Hello YouTube, this is Tyans, and this is an arms guide for PvP. If you do PvE, some tips might be useful, some might not be, but it's okay, you don't have to. If you're an uh, arms warrior, either new or you're just, um, or you just want to try and get better because you don't know why, um, this is a good video for you. First, what I'm going to be going over is my keybinds. Now the way I have my keybinds set up are my are you I have a Razor Naga and those buttons are right here and if I need more then here I'll just show you I have the alt um, modifier right here but since I'm on my warrior don't need that much so I just have this right here this is from a previous raid I just did um, out of 43 people. I am number four. This is when I was um when I was doing the just daily raid and yeah. That's if you are wondering what that means. If not then oh well. Um I also have a Nostromo so those keep on to right here. If you know what a Nost Nostromo is, it has a little wheel up and wheel down and that's what I have for it right here and this is just my mouse and these are the two buttons for my um... Razor Naga. okay for you can see my keybinds um... i'm only gonna go over the macros because it's pretty self-explanatory and then i'll show you the rotation um... to go into macro just type in slash m or slash macro i created a macro just to just so i can click it and won't have to type anything um, this one I'm very proud of. It's my own personal macro. I made it all by myself. Um, it's a show tooltip slash cast sequence open bracket harm close bracket space reset equals 15 slash alt charge slash hamstring. Um, and then the next line is open bracket friendly close bracket space intervene. So what that will do is, if I'm targeting a target that I can attack, it will do a charge, then a hamstring. And then if I'm targeting, targeting a friendly target, then it will do intervene. And also, if I'm fighting someone and I want to do another charge, since I have that glyph, I could just click Alt or just wait for the 15 seconds. Most of the time, I will just click the Alt because I don't have any modifiers for Alt. So that just makes it a good reset button. You don't have to have it as alt. That's just what I have it. Or you could also just um, take out the 15 slash alt and just add target. So whenever you click the click on a different target, then it'll reset. That's my own personal macro. Um, this one is an old macro. I used to have it for when I was fury. It casts colossal smash then three thunder armors. So what that'll do is when you're in fury. It's a lot different from arms because you can't reset the cooldown of Colossal Smash. So I just put this on so when I'm attacking it, I'll always have a skill to go on. Because some people don't know that Sunder Armor is actually very useful. And for my other macros, um, just so you know, I did change this. I just thought this looked better than the regular charge and it's right here. And the... I just had the regular class smash right here, but that's for Fury. Um, spell reflect macro, pretty simple. Just cast spell reflect and it clips my one-handed shield. Um, heal macro, just cast all my um, heals: Rail and Cry, Hellstone, Last Stand, and Commanding Shout. Last Stand is for prot, so don't worry about it. Um, this is my defensive. It's cast shield wall, die by sword, shield block when I'm in defensive. Because my PvP set, that's my one hander and shield. Um, just my one hand is PvP2, and it puts me into defensive stance. Um, this is for arms, it puts me into battle stance and equips my PvP2, which is my one hander, and puts me into battle stance in case I'm not. And this, it does the opposite, puts me into defense stance and equips my one hander and shield. This is my burst macro. As you can obviously tell, like, Okay, I had to pause the video real quick, and now I'm back. Um, 
this is my burst macro. It obviously just casts all my defensive cooldowns. Um, if you have a racial, that sh I personally think that should go first, because sometimes it doesn't go all the way. And also, it casts Dragon War and Blaze. The reason for that is I don't have two separate macros. Um, for my prots and arm spec, so I just have it combined into one. So, in prots, I do Blaze Storm, and in arms, I do Dragon Zor. And also, since I do prots with Blaze Storm, then I could just equip my two hander and do even more damage. Not a lot of people know that, but. And this is just cleave macro, it casts Deadly Calm, Cleave, and Sweeping Strikes on the same macro. And it's my heroic throw macro, cast heroic throw, taunt, shoot, and throw. For like if you're stuck and you want to keep attacking. Um yeah, that's pretty much it. Now I'm gonna go over rotation. Now keep in mind this is my rotation. I have found it pretty effective, but you do not have to have it the same. Um, okay, so, ooh, wish I could do that, but doing a video. Um, what you want to first start off doing is obviously charge or heroic thief. I didn't, unless you very much have to, I would suggest that you would not just go up and walk to them. I mean, if you're doing dungeons, then that's a whole different story, but if you're doing PvP, you should not just walk up to them unless they are going up to you. You should always try to start off with a charge or heroic leap. Just get that first amount of damage in. Um, what I do is obviously Colossal Smash, Mortal Strike, Sunder Armor, Overpower, and then you just do that. Just Colossal Smash, Mortal Strike, Sunder Armor, Overpower, and then it just starts over. If one's off cooldown, then you just go to the next one. But basically, if you want to look at it from this perspective, you do 1, 2, 5, 3. And then, if anything's up on cooldown, then you just go to the next one. And when you have above 90 rage, then use um, slam. And when you have 4 stacks um, for the heroic strike, then use that. Other than that, then you don't really need to use either one of these unless you have over 90. Now, some people say you could use it when you get over 60. But let's let's just um try that. Okay, um gonna dump some rage. Okay, so let's say you're just I'm gonna reset it too. Um let's say you're just starting off. Colossal Smash, Mortal Strike, Sunder Armor, Overpower. Now you see I have sixty rage now. And now if I use that and let's see I just go like this. You can see that I could, if I wait till 90, I would have been able to use Slam twice. But since I just wait till 60, I couldn't. So that's basically all you need to do. Um, what I suggest doing if you do have over 90 Rage is you do not use um, Sunder Armor. Because Sunder Armor, the way I have it, it doesn't use any Rage anyways. But it does have... Oops. It does have that global cooldown, and sometimes those can really affect you. And let's um, go over here. Um, for rotation wise, obviously, if I need a pumble, then use that. Getting hammered on, that. If I need to burst, disarm. If I need to get them away, um, fear them. If I need to heal this, if they're in a bubble, this. If I need to heal myself, but I don't want to use my cooldowns, then that's. You can see what they are, they're like nothing special. This is just the heal, in case you're wondering. And this is the defensive and everything else is just um regular. And well the cleave it's a macro but you can see the picture right there. Um cleave, whirlwind and um thunderclap is right there. And burst for the wheel up on my razor stromo and G two and um G two heroic leap. Um V, I do not have anything. It used to be my disarm, but then, well, my disarm used to be over here, but then I put my, um, 
to frame my um what's it called execute right there so I didn't need it on F so just move that up and yeah and next we'll go into gear now I am not completely geared but I am good enough I have the full dreadful set and I'm working on getting the conquest set right now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so I have nine pieces that are dreadful. And the rest are, well, not include the weapon. And the rest are the malevolent. Malevolent is conquest, in case you didn't know that. Well, you do not have to have incredible gear. Like, as you can see from mine, I do not have any gems or enchants or anything. Because for me, I like to get the best gear and then do that. Some people might just do that because it might help them so that they can get better gear faster. But there's really no hurry for me because I'm just like that. Um, just a regular sword I got from a raid. I really need to get a new one, but I haven't yet. Um, yeah. Okay, so I went over key binds, macros. Um, rotation, uh, spells, um, no, talents, here we go, um, I choose these, you do not have to choose these, I just chose them because they best suit me, it's Juggernaut, Second Wind, Staggering Shout, Dragon's Or, Mass Spell Reflect, and Avatar, and for Juggernaut, I chose it simply because when I'm fighting a mage, um, I don't think any other class I have trouble with, but usually what I'll do is if I get caught in a major CC, I'll use Berserker Rage so that they can't stun me again, and then I'll get the other charge up on them. And usually that works out, sometimes it doesn't, but I just chose that. Second win, just so I don't have to worry about if I'm getting low on Rage or Health. And Staggering Child, just for when. I'm taking a lot of damage and I need to get them away from me and if I don't have any um if my fear is off cooldown I mean if my fear is on cooldown then I use that so I could just get away from them instead of them getting away from me Dragon Sword just for the burst um occasionally I did have the shockwave but I figured out that Dragon Sword has more burst um mass spell reflect just another reflect in case I need it for my group and avatar for the burst as well now um what you should keep in mind is as a warrior there are a lot of things that can make a difference such as the way you go things like what i would do when i'm fighting someone i would do my first set of rotation the one two five three and then i'll switch to my one hand and shield and then i'll keep going so that way even though i'm doing damage they are still having trouble getting me down because I have one hand and shield. And for arms, it really doesn't matter which thing you're in. But, um, yeah. It really doesn't matter which stance you're in. But, obviously, you want to be taking less damage sometimes. So, I just go ahead and do that from the start. So, I don't end up in a situation that I need them to. And yeah, that's basically it. If you like this guy, like, comment, and subscribe. And also, I will be um, raiding with my guild. I mean, not raiding, um, doing RPGs with my guild. So if you need um, any questions or you just want to come join, just come over. We're doing it Saturday. And I think that's it for... Um, that's it for right now until we get more people but if you want to then come on if not then that's okay too um yeah remember to like comment and subscribe and if you have any friends who need help playing at arms warrior or prop warrior just send them to me or just um message me and i'll message them and we can like try to help them um yeah